Hello Taurus and welcome to what I'm calling an energy reading for you. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. And welcome, this is Andrea from Truth Well Told Tarot. Let's see what we have for you as your energy is. I'm going to do past, present and future Taurus. As always, take what resonates, this won't be for everyone. So what do we have for our lovely Taurians? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, past, present and future. Card is turned over, I've got the... Oh. I've pulled two cards there. Let's put that together. Present and future Taurus. So we have the devil and the nine of cups. We have the world in the present. And we have the queen of wands. Now, as court cards, we can manifest as the Sorry, as, as people, we can manifest in, in general readings, we can manifest as court cards. So, but this could be a person that you're dealing with as well. But I feel this is likely the energy that you're channeling. Queen of Wands energy really doesn't, doesn't really uh, suffer fools, you know. This is somebody who's very decisive, go-getting, empowered, courageous, confident, um, but moves in the direction of what brings, you know, her success and fulfillment and empowerment and growth doesn't really associate with things that, you know, don't add to her world, you know. And this is the energy that I see you adopting in the near future. I feel that you are likely manifesting as this Queen of Wands energy, given that I'm doing more of an energy reading. The Devil and the Nine of Cups, kind of classic combination, is a card of indulgence. Um, the devil is always quite attractive. There's always uh, something that, you know, preys on our weakness with the devil. Um, there's things that we like about devil energy. But it definitely feels in this scenario here, again, you could be dealing with somebody. This could also be your energy, taking control of a situation or a vice that needs to be taken in hand. Uh, because we like doing it a lot with the Nine of Cups. It's an indulgence. We like to indulge in a habit, a vice, an addiction, a behavioral pattern that we enjoy. But does it serve us? No. So this is the energy here of, you're facing this, this is in the immediate past, with a view to breaking free of it. In your present, there is a completion here. The world card represents drawing a line under a situation. And like I said, this could be your own your own, you taking control of your life and saying, okay, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm drawing a line under this. I am stepping through to a brand new phase of my life and I'm taking this in hand. This represents that you're in a very empowered, go-getting, driven, taking things in hand mode um, where you're not falling prey to, like I said, lower vibrational behavioral patterns that we like to indulge in. Again, the devil can be with the nine of cups. It can be linked to those cups energy. It can be, you know, alcoholism. It can be to do with partying, um, socializing too much, spending too much. Uh, like I said, an advice of some kind. And there's levels to that. Things that we like, that we enjoy. But is it, are we ever sati satiated? No. We're never satiated in that energy. We always want more. This is the energy. I always want more. I always want to do more. And you can go down that, that avenue of more and more and more with this kind of energy. And this is where you're bringing an end to it. This could also be a person. The, the, the devil with the nine of cups can be somebody who has a vice, an addiction, uh, an indulgence of some kind that doesn't serve your highest good. And again, this can represent in your current situation a major completion because it might well be you're deciding to draw the line under this situation because they're not serving your highest good. With the Queen of Wands, I, I definitely see in the near future you're feeling empowered, you're taking things in hand. And you're understanding what serves you and what doesn't serving you. And you're making your necessary life changes for your highest good. I'm feeling more in control as a result of that. Because if this is you, you're not giving power. You're taking your power back. If this is somebody who 
is unhel- is causing an unhealthy influence in your life. You know, somebody who likes to indulge in things, shopping, gambling, drinking. Um, this is where you might be completing something here, Taurus, drawing a line under it, a major ending, and feeling more empowered about how you're now moving forward because you've conquered this devil. It is taking back your power to make the necessary changes that you want to make, and that's what I'm seeing here. And that's the message I've got for you. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.